Hello and welcome to all this current module Agora. Today I Kusum Chaudhary, Assistant Professor in School of Architecture in Galgotias University. So today uh, here we will discuss about the introduction to tall building. So uh, this uh, uh, subtopic is under the building construction subject. So let's start with uh, today lecture. So here are given a few prerequisite of this current module. Uh, first one is prefabrication system, pre-stress concrete. So uh, these topic already uh, we have discussed in the previous module, which were the uh, prefab. Uh, introduction method of pre-stressing and their application to large space structure, uh, industrial construction structure steel work and the documentaries of mega structure for analysis of high rise structure, understanding structural grid from geometry. So uh, these are the some prerequisites. Here are given uh, two objective of this module. First one is study and analysis of a life site for site services and site planning and second is planning and designing of a campus here are the content of this lecture first one is introduction to high rise building second is high rise building of the world geographical distribution of high rise buildings tallest 20 buildings in the world and uh, at the end you will see the uh, some questions for your assignment and the references So let's start with the introduction. Uh, there is no established definition of what constitute a tall building instead. Uh, there are several different criteria that typically determine whether a building can be considered to be a tall. Uh, firstly, it is important to consider uh, the urban context of the building. If a 10 story building is, is in a central business, business district, surrounded by high rise building of 20 story then it may be uh, considered as a particularly tall building but however if a 10 story building is uh, in a sub urban area that is predominantly low rise it would be considered to be a tall building historic england suggested that definition of a tall building should be based on evidence assess, uh, assessing the local context uh, this means the definition of what constitutes tall building will vary from place to place. So uh, tall building is defined by council of uh, on tall building and urban habitat. So uh, like building higher than 50 meter is termed as tall building. If the building higher than 1000 uh, meter that is termed as the skyscraper and the 300 meter or higher is termed as super tall. And if we will uh, uh, talk about the 600 meter or tallest, it termed as the mega tall. So these are the some uh, uh, defined um, height by the council uh, on tall building and urban habitat. Uh, so uh, high rise is defined differently by different bodies. Uh, Ampori's standard R says when a multi-story structure between 35 to 100 meter tall or a building of unknown height from like a 12 to 39 floor that is termed as the high rise and if we will talk about the building code of Hyderabad India uh, this is a high rise building is uh, one with four floor or more and uh, or uh, 115 meter or more height more in height so that can be considered in high rise and the international conference on fire safety uh, says uh, any structure where the height can have a serious impact on evacuation so that can be considered in high rise according to massachusetts in the united um, states journal laws are uh, says a high rise is being higher than 70 feet if we will talk in meter so it will be like 21 meter so these are the some uh, def definition by the different bodies about the high rise so here uh, you can see the high rise building of the world so uh, this is the world map and here you can see the uh, denotation of the high rise building according to the uh, countries so here you can see the this is the new york 
वर्ल्ड ट्रेड सेंटर वन शिकागो शिकागो स्पायर एंड मखा मखा रॉयल क्लॉक टावर सो हेयर यू कैन सी द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंट्रीज विद द फेमस हाई राइज बिल्डिंग टावर्स सो नाउ डिमांड ऑफ हाई राइज बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट वन इज द uh scarcity of land in urban area that's why we uh, required the high rise building increasing demand for business and residential spaces economic growth technological advancement innovation in structure system desire for um, aesthetic in urban settings concepts of city skyline cultural significance and prestige human aspiration to build higher so these are the some demands for high rise buildings so here uh, geographical distribution of high rise building are given in this slide so uh, you can see uh, the geographical distribution on the in the world so uh, this is the uh, skyscraper in region and uh, like asia north america europe south america and uh, oceania uh, africa and buildings how uh, numbers are the uh, high rise are there and these are the percentage of the high rise building so you can see uh, the mostly skyscrapers uh, which are in different different uh, countries and cities and how much the number of the building so these are the uh, geographical uh, distribution of the high rise buildings so here you can see the world tallest 20 building uh, skyline uh, which are uh, shown in this slide so in detail we will discuss a uh, few of them uh, world famous tallest building in upcoming slides in this slide i have added a video uh, in this video you will see the tallest building the past the present and the future the era is 1908 to 2022 so here the first building we have the uh, single building height is 186.57 which is in new york tallest building 1908 to 1909 so this was the period uh, when this building was the highest in that time next we have the metropolitan life tower height to uh, 11313.36 new york 1909 to 1913 so next we have the woolworth building uh, height is 241.4 meter it is also in new york tallest building 1930 to 1930 next uh, building uh, we have the chrysler building uh, its height is 318.8 meter in new york 1930 to 1931 so in this year uh, that building was the tallest building next is the empire state building which is 381 meter also in new york tallest building 1931 to 1971 uh, so next we have one world trade center which is uh, 417 meter in height it is also uh, situated in new york city and tallest building 1971 to 1973 so this was the uh, uh, period when the one world trade center was the highest building next is the cs tower 442 meter in chicago uh, 1973 to 1998 uh, so next is the uh, patronos tower height is 451.9 meter it's in kuala lumpur 1998 to 2014 this was the tallest building Uh, in this year next we have the taipei 101 which is 509.2 meter it uh, is located in taipei 2014 to 4 uh, sorry 4 to 2010 so this was the period for taipei uh, building next we have the burj khalifa its height is 828 uh, location dubai tallest building 2010 to 2021 next uh, uh, we have jeddah tower uh, its height is 
1008 meter uh, location in jeddah tallest 2021 to 2022 so next uh, tall building is uh, dubai creek tower uh, which is uh, 1345 meter in height uh, it's also located in dubai tallest building of 2022 so uh, these are the uh, building uh, which were based on the uh, on the uh, highest building of the world uh, from the past present and the future so here uh, are given top 20 tallest building in the world uh, so you can see uh, here the sequence of the uh, tallest building first one is burj khalifa which is in dubai here you can see the basis of the all buildings and the architects and heights so second one is the sangai which is completed in 2014 uh, uh, situated in the sangai and the height is 3 uh, 632 meter and third one is the mecca royal clock tower completed in 2011 which is 601 meter in height and the ping and F finance tower uh, which have the 599 meter uh, height 
and sixth tower is the Lotte World Tower. It's have triple five meter in height. So uh, these are the uh, few uh, tallest building. Next we have World Trade Center uh, completed in 2014 uh, in New York City. Uh, budget is 3.9 billion. David uh, Childs, Daniel and Lipskind is architect of this building. Uh, its height is 541 meter. So here are the some other building you can see and the which in year it's completed uh, with the city with the budget and here you can see the name of the architect and the height of the uh, buildings. So. Now we have some other uh, tallest building in the world, uh, Shanghai World Financial Center, uh, which is completed in 2008 and its height is 492 meter. Next we have International Commerce Center, its uh, height is 484 meter. So here are the some other building uh, you can see uh, in the screen. Other uh, tallest building are Patronet's twin, twin tower which is in Kuala Lumpur and its uh, um, height is 451.9 uh, meter. Architect is Cesar Pali and uh, other uh, buildings are the Exchange 106 which is also in Kuala Lumpur and height is 445 meter. So uh, these are the some other you can see for more detail uh, in the slide. So uh, now in upcoming slides here we will discuss about the uh, most top five uh, um, tallest building of the world in a uh, few details. So let's start with the first one which is the Burj Khalifa. It's in Dubai and its height is 828 meter. Along with being the tallest building in Dubai, Burj Khalifa is officially the world tallest building since 2010. The tender for its construction was given to a Chicago based architectural firm standing at a height of 828 meter and it has uh, 163 floor and house approximately for uh, 30,000 people. The Burj Khalifa houses, hotels and uh, shopping malls and uh, an artificial lake as well as well the tower has received many award and recognitions for from all quarters of the world of architects so these are the some uh, detail about the burj khalifa next is the uh, shanghai tower uh, basically uh, it is in it is the tallest building in china uh, inaugurated in 2014 the building took eight year for completion uh, its uh, cost is about 4.2 billion dollar and uh, height is 3 uh, 632 meter uh, there are around 258 room in the hotel situated in the Shanghai tower so here you can see in both images this is one this one is the Shanghai tower now we have Makkah Royal Clock Tower. It is situated very close to the famous Grand Mosque. The construction of the of this building took around seven years. In 2011, the clock tower was open to the general public. So its height is uh, 601 meter. Uh, it's have 96 elevator work every day in this building. Also, the tower become an observatory tower during the month of the Ramzan. So here you can see more detail about uh, this Makkha, Makkha Royal Clock Tower. So uh, next we have Ping and Finance Tower. Uh, Ping and Finance Tower is uh, 599 meter tall and located in Shenzhen. It uh, accommodates the Ping and Insurance Firm offices. It was inaugurated uh, in the 2015 and uh, underwent an extended construction phase until 2017. Uh, basically, this tower uh, have numerous facilities such as conferences center, retail store, hotel room. Earlier, the aim was to build the tallest building in the country. As a higher tower would have impeded 
एयरप्लेन्स द कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज स्टॉप आफ्टर वन वन फाइव फ्लोर एक सौ पंद्रह फ्लोर द ऑब्जर्वेशन डैग इज ऑन द वन सिक्स वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन फ्लोर सो हे यू कैन सी द इमेज ऑफ द पिंग एंड फाइनेंस टावर सो दिस वन इज द पिंग एंड फाइनेंस टावर एंड दिस इज द क्लोज अप ऑफ दिस बिल्डिंग now we have the lotte world tower uh, which is 555 meter in height uh, the lotte world tower houses the pride of south korea one of the fastest growing countries in the world 13 year was spent to build this enormous building it was inaugurated in 2017 the building has 123 floor in it and offer multiple observatory decks here an amazing fact about the lotte world tower the design of this building is such that it can defy the effect of an earthquake measuring 9 on the reactor scale it is built alongside the bank of an of the hand river so here you can see the images of this tower and it is uh, along on the bank of the um, hand river so uh, this is another one of the famous tallest building of the world so uh, now here we have uh, only three questions for your assignment so first one is uh, definition of tall building as per defined by the different bodies that can be um, at the international level or national level so you can uh, cover the all bodies uh, next we have the uh, what are the demand for high rise buildings why we need the high rise building so you have to elaborate the this answer now uh, next is the explain top 5 tall building of world as well as india so you have to uh, cover all the top 5 buildings at national and at international levels so in this slide here are given uh, few references related to this lecture so you can use these references for more detail about the tall bill so uh, that's all uh, for today lecture uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the techniques and method uh, which is used for the tall building uh, we will cover about the materials Uh, for the tall building so at the end of the lecture i would like to thanks everyone for listening and watching this video lecture